Hey guys, <clears throat> it's Danny, and today I am doing a move this a little bit closer. A another stamping plate um, review. There will also be a small nail polish review in here as well. I can't remember if I've talked about this nail polish before. I have used it before. This is the second time I've used it. Um, so this I'm just kind of showing off the color. This is the color I'm wearing on my nails right now. <clears throat> this is the color Sabretooth by Mooncat uh, Polish, and here's the back. It is so pretty. And there you can see like a really nice swatch on the swatch stick. It is so pretty. It is just this really pretty nice pale blue. I thought it would be great for a good base for what I wanted to stamp. Um, uh, this is a matte polish, as you can probably tell from the swatch stick. It is matte. I really like that. Mooncat has, like, the best matte formula I have tried in a while. And I'm just trying to adjust this a little bit. This is weird. Anyway, uh, that's better. Okay. <laughs> so they have the best matte formula I have tried ever. It is so nice. It dries really, really nicely, but it doesn't dry too fast. Cause like some matte polishes I have tried, they dry really, really fast. So as you're trying to like, you know, you got your swipe down to start painting like half your nail, you go to do the other half and if, you know, if you overlap a little bit, it like pulls up and gets really streaky and really bad and you end up having to do 45 freaking coats to get it to look decent. This one does not do that. I only did two coats and it was fully opaque and really nice. Like I, if I was doing it by itself, like if I wasn't going to stamp on top of it, I probably would have did a third coat just to make it like really opaque, but I don't think it needed that. Uh, for stamping like if it was by itself I might have did another one but it and it dries super nice it is so so nice um and if you put a a glossy top coat on top of it it is stunning but it is super nice just matte on its own um this is the stamping plate I use it is by Maniology and this is the plate M three to four which is the ghoulish garden plate I showed off in my last haul I have cleaned this plate but you can definitely tell uh, where some of the polish went in and even though I scrubbed just some of it just did not come off so here's the plate I'm trying to kind of show it where it's not there you go sort of <laughs> and I'm gonna show my nails um, hopefully I can get my camera to focus and I'm going to they're all different I did different I did a few different techniques um, some of them are colored in some of them are not uh, the only thing I can't really attest to is the um, the words on this one how it has the one that says welcome to the ghoulish garden right here I did not use that one so I don't know how well the words stamp so first off, we'll go with this one. I'm gonna do it like this and see if maybe that will help it focus. I'm trying to get to focus just on this image. I don't know how well you can see. I wish I could get my camera to focus better. Maybe. So this one is kind of like a snake wrapped around a bottle with some leaves coming out of it. Is this image right here. And I also did it on my left hand, or my right hand rather. This is my left hand. Did it on my right hand as well, but I tried to color it in.
Like, I feel like if I get too close, it doesn't focus on it. But I don't. This may just be a really weird uh, review because you may not be able to see any of my nails that I did. Um, so on my pinkies, on both hands, and my thumb on this one, since my thumb was kind of broke, and my two pinkies, because this pinky especially like really broke, I just did this full nail image right here of like a leaf, like leafy veins. Um, so I did a couple different, or I did on my middle finger on this hand and my ring finger on this hand, I did the a double stamp technique where you stamp one image and then you kind of stamp another image um, on top of or like next to or whatever to like create um, a different image. Um, there's also like certain places will sell special plates that are made for like stacking where it'll be like oh like an example of one that I've seen is like for Christmas time it'll be like a snowman body like just like the three balls um with nothing and you like stamp that in like white obviously and then like there are other images that's like a hat and a scarf and his arms and the faces so that way you can make um customized like snowmans and stuff on your nails um I've also seen them done with like gnomes like where it'll be like their body and then you can pick like a different beard or hat or something so there there's a lot of different like stacking stamping plates I've seen the snowman is just I guess the easiest one to like describe and also the one I have seen like the most like it's the more common one so like they're pretty cool and I've never had any one like that and I don't I mean this is kind of for that I guess but you don't necessarily have to use them like that but so as you can see maybe is I did a flower pot and then a dead flower and then I also did a different pot and a different flower on this finger and I colored in the flowers on both and then on this finger I colored I also colored in the pot but I didn't do that on this one because I wanted it to be bare like I wanted it to be that same color um I used this pot image in this pot image oh that really and then I used that flower and that flower that was really focused for a second and then it stopped um I also did on this finger this one it kind of didn't come out as well as I wanted I feel like this is not focusing as well as the first time I did one of these so hopefully you guys can tell that's supposed to be like a dead daisy flower this image right here, this, this image right here, and I try to color it in with the same color I use for this pot, like a, just like a taupe color. I was hoping to kind of make it look dead, like it used to be yellow and now it's bleh. Um, but it didn't, it kind of smeared in some of the detail lines. Um, kind of got lost I don't know if they uh, didn't get picked up on my initial stamp or if maybe when I was painting in the flower petals they like moved because that's happened before um, so who knows on my this finger right here I really like this image It is a baby doll head planter with like the plant in it. And it is this one. I feel like it's focusing more on like better on the plate than on my nails. I don't know. I don't understand why it doesn't focus. This is supposed, I mean, this isn't like it's an old phone. It's a, what is this, a 22? So I mean like hot damn. And then this one's probably my favorite nail on at least this hand my favorite nail on this hand is this dead flower in a pot my thumb is probably my favorite on this hand 
and oh that focused really nice on that one. Oh, I got too close but it is a skull planter with uh, up like a succulent type plant coming out the top and I'll see if I can't show you the image on the plate too that one right there yes and I colored in the skull white I colored in the plant green I did lose a little bit of the plant right there like they're supposed to be up a little bit higher so part of the plant did kind of stick to my stamper and I wasn't able to do that um, all of it but I think it came out really really well I'm gonna keep my hand just like this and see ooh, okay see if I can't kind of show you guys some more because it seems like right here is the perfect spot so there's the dead flowers that one is that bottle you can't really see it that from far away because it's got a and there's the, the okay now I'm gonna do this thumb that's that same image as on the other hand that you can't really see because of like the thing. This is the dead flower that didn't quite work. This is my other dead flower. This is my favorite one. Then my pinky. Okay, so I, at least I kind of got to show you. I just had to figure out. <sighs> I don't know. I don't understand why some days I can put like my hand like super duper close and it'll focus. And then other days it won't. I don't understand. Maybe it has to do with where my hand is? I don't know. I don't know. I don't understand why. Like I said, sometimes it'll focus, sometimes it won't. Sometimes it's like it wants to focus and then it won't focus. I don't know if there's something I can maybe change in my settings. I have no idea. If you know if there's anything I can switch in my settings to like help it focus a little bit more, let me know. Um, these were really fun to do. I I love doing stamping. Like I said, like I go through phases where like I'll stamp for like a long time and or every time I do my nails almost and then there's I'll go through a phase where I don't like stamp at all. But I love it. It's a great way to do nail art if you can't or aren't very good at like freehanding. And yeah, there's a learning curve, and yeah, sometimes you gotta do the same image like four times, like, you know, you gotta like scrape and stamp, you know, because you gotta figure out the right pressure, because if you scrape too hard, you take off too much polish, and you can't, um, it doesn't pick up all of the design, uh, but if you scrape too lightly, there might be too much polish, and it's just gonna smear and smudge and just be a, blo a blob on your stamper, um, so, you know, you really, there is a learning curve with it. I love the coloring in parts of it and making it look really cool. Um, you gotta be careful with that though, because if you use too much polish when you're coloring in those things, it will smear. If it's too wet, it'll smear. It's interesting. So, but I'm trying to get better. I'm trying to do it more. Um, a, couple videos back I did a haul where I hauled a bunch of Maniology nail plates like 10 of them I think 8 10 I don't know I bought a bunch and um, if there are any stamping polishes in, or not polishes I'm sorry stamping plates in particular that you would like to see me use um, and review like let me know so that way you know I can get those out for you um, Again, I wish this was focusing just a little better, but you can kind of see them. I bought this plate because I was joking around. Oh, that one looks really good. Now you can really see it because I was joking that I bought this because um, like my son uh, tells me I have a black thumb or that I'm an eco-terrorist because I can't keep plants alive. So when I saw this plate with all the dead flowers and stuff on it, I kind of, kind of knew I needed it. Um, one thing about these nails that I think kind of went wrong is like, well, you can see right there how it's like shiny still. As I said, the Mooncat polish is matte and I did go over everything with a matte top coat and it isn't a very good matte top coat. It is, um, it's like, I think it's Sally Hansen 
it's the Sally Hansen like miracle gel um, polish where it's supposed to be like like gel polish but not um, and it's supposed to give you like a gel like uh, wear and finish without being gel um, but yeah the Sally Hansen Mir miracle gel matte top coat is not very good um, I'm definitely uh, gonna be probably pitching that soon and working on uh, getting another a different matte polish or matte uh, top coat because it's not it this is way more matte just by itself without a top coat than with that top coat so eh. um so yeah I'm definitely totally gonna get a different matte top coat because that one just isn't it I know I keep showing the nails but I keep because I want you guys to actually see them so I'm hoping they'll be like nice and focused so okay well that is my review this this plate is really good all the images seem to work really well um, a couple blunders uh, like with this one losing some of its detail this one smudged just a teensy bit but really everything seemed to work really good um, yeah again this is plate M324 if you are interested in looking it up like if maybe you like are interested in this plate and might want it um, I say go for it it's a good plate Maniology makes really great plates this uh, <laughs> this video is kind of rambly and kind of all over the place but I'm still gonna post it because you know I took the time you know I'm still gonna post it so whatever I hope you guys enjoy and yeah I'll talk to you later bye